Hey, what's up guys? This is Agarkai96 here, bringing you an action figure review of a really, really cool figure. Um, this is the Marvel Select Amazing Spider-Man uh, figure, but this is the exclusive version from uh, the Disney Store. Just picked it up uh, less than an hour ago, and um, well, it's fantastic. I saw it right away and I had to get it. I went straight to the Disney Store in uh, Times Square in uh, New York City just to get this just came back on the train in Queens and I, I was looking at it the whole time on the train ride it's just amazing um, well amazing spider-man um, but here's the packaging as you as you can see um, got some really nice uh, packaging going on uh, there is a a scuff mark right there you know the city people like to bump into you and they're messing up my packaging here uh, but yeah, very nice. Is he, there's the oops, sorry. There is the uh, Spider-Man logo that's on his back, and yeah, it's the one on his back. Got a nice uh, Spider-Man picture on the side here, promotional photo, and um, have a nice picture of uh, Spider-Man himself. Nice photo of him. Um, I'll have a picture of the bio at the end of the video. It's kind of hard to see with the flashlight. I'm working on a weird area this time. Sorry about that. With weird lighting. Here we go. Got the Disney logo here. Uh, the Disney store. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, here he is. Very cool packaging. Let's see you have the side. And there he goes. Let's open this guy up. Hey guys, um, you have no idea what I just went through. The first part of this video, uh, I used a totally different camera. Um, right when I cut the scene, um, I left the room and the camera fell off the tripod somehow. Well, it fell on the floor with the tripod and it broke. So I had to buy a new camera and it basically cost me all my savings money. <laughs> But I got a new camera. It's much better, much clearer. I needed a new one anyway, but it sucks. Because now it's a week later, and I could have had this review done a long time ago. But uh, finally, back to the figure. It's just been a few seconds for you guys, but it's been a week for me. Alright? Alright, so, yes, this figure is awesome. Just look at the, the display uh, base here. Very cool. Very, very cool. So I'm going to take him off his uh, base here and uh, okay he is Spider-Man unmasked uh, Peter Parker try to focus this for you guys hopefully that's good um, very cool it does have a, a good likeness of Andrew Garfield. Really cool head sculpt going on here. The whole figure sculpt is amazing. But it was digitally sculpted. Um, wasn't sculpted, you know, with tools or anything. It was sculpted on a computer. And uh, it was basically just molded. And they really did a great job. Now besides this head and these two hands um, this figure uh, does uh, come with I'm trying to focus this for you guys uh, with uh, an alternate masked spider-man head which is pretty cool but I'd rather keep uh, this head on just because it's exclusive and I don't really like the orange eyes that much in the movie they were much more reflective and uh, the yellow wasn't as definitive. Here we have uh, fists, which are pretty cool. And that's about it. The only thing I wish this figure uh, did have is um, maybe some um, gloved uh, web shooting hands. That would have been pretty cool. But uh, here you go. With the web shooters there, I'm trying to 
there we go, maybe you can see it now, I'm trying to reflect the light here. It's like a red metallic in there with uh, the silver. The other side is just like a wristband. Same thing for the other hand. And uh, very well sculpted, like I said before. The paint application on uh, the face is actually uh, uh, pretty good. It's kind of translucent, so it has like that skin quality. Just look at it compared to like my my finger, the skin on my finger. It's uh, pretty close, the skin texture and everything, and the shine. It, they did a pretty good job. Um, now the only thing that I wish the paint application was better on is um, the blue. Now in the movie he had two shades of blue, which is basically this blue and then a darker blue on this um, on this webbed pattern here. He had a darker blue. So it's like the, li the lighter blue with the honeycomb darker blue. And it gave it a nice look in the movie. Um, but unfortunately this, uh, this figure only has one shade of blue. Another thing is um, the silver and his shoes aren't painted, which I've noticed. Um, and, uh, oh, the web shooters on his hands. Um, aren't painted either. You see, they're, they're right there, but you can't really see them. They're not painted silver. And I believe this little part right here is supposed to be painted black. That's like the trigger for the web shooter. Um, but besides that, everything else is uh, uh, top notch. The webbing on this figure is actually pretty good. Uh, the painting, I thought it was going to be a little sloppy, but I guess not. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into the articulation. We have um, a ball jointed neck. It can't really go up that much because of the hair. But it can go down and can fully rotate. Arm can go out and in, kind of tight for me. Um, we have a rotate at the bicep here, a uh, single joint at the elbow, and it can rotate at the forearm. The wrist articulation is just this right here, a little flick in the wrist. We have a ball jointed uh, ab crunch, no waist articulation. Uh, legs can go forward and back. And if you want to make him go in and out, you have to like move this joint and then do it. And then, yeah, it's one of those weird joints where you have to line it up properly. And you see, you have to line up the leg if you want it displayed. Uh, we have a double jointed knee, which is always nice for Spider Man figures. Um, we have a rotate at the boot and some rear articulation at the ankle. It goes forward and back and then it can like rotate in this really weird way. Which is really cool. So you get some uh, excellent articulation for uh, the Spider-Man figure. Um, now, um, let me show you something when I switch the head. This just might be my figure, but let me show you. Alright, so I just took uh, the, the head off the figure, as you see, has this blue joint here in the head, um, which pops onto the figure here. So, let me show you the other head. The Spider-Man head is missing that blue joint. Now, uh, what I think is that this blue joint is supposed to be in the neck, and it's supposed to stay in there. So, this head could just pop on. But unfortunately when I took it out, it's stuck in his head and it's not coming out. Um, and it really sucks. So that's basically the situation with the head switching. Now for the hands, all you have to do is just pop it out like that. And uh, just pop a uh, oh, wrong hand. Pop the other hand right in. And it's, that's it, it's in. Which is really cool. Uh, it's really hard to put the head back on, um, but you guys basically saw the figure for this video. Now, I'm going to finish this up real fast, have you guys take a look at the base. Um, 
my camera's dying because I just took it out of the package and it wasn't really charged. But um, here's the base here. Uh, we have some really, really cool details going on here. We have the rust from the pipes, uh, different um, shades of metallic. We have the green awning here, like on top of a grocery store in the city. We have a nice uh, air conditioner, which is all weathered and stuff. Uh, nice blue, white shade for a window. Would be cool if it was reflective a little bit. Not like mirror-like, but you know, a little bit shiny. And here's the pegs to put the figure on. If you want to see more on the base, I'm going to take some pictures of it later. But, um... This is basically Spider-Man. And, uh... Pretty neat, pretty neat. Now there are a lot of videos on YouTube here um, of this Spider-Man review with the head, you know, the regular one. Um, but um, I haven't seen too many with uh, exclusive heads, so I I'm just gonna put mine's up there. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, Comic Con's going on right now, so uh, please check out my channel for some sweet Comic Con videos. Um, and for now, you're just staring at a headless Spider-Man, and my camera's about to die. So, I'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.